In this video, we're going to talk about bacteria growth using exponential functions. When bacteria divides, the population doubles. You begin with 25 bacteria that doubles every single hour. And we have a chart. In this chart, we're going to fill in how many bacteria we'll have every hour that passes. So at time zero, I have 25 bacteria. If the bacteria doubles every hour, at the end of one hour, I will have 50 bacteria. And notice that is equivalent to having 25 times 2. At the end of two hours, I will have 100 bacteria. That means I multiplied 50 times 2. At the third hour, I'll have 200 bacteria, which is multiplying 100 times 2. At the fourth hour, I will have 400 bacteria, which is 200 times 2. At the nth hour, we'll write that expression once we find our multiplier. So notice that I have taken the initial amount 25 and I've multiplied it by 2 four times. So I can rewrite this as 25 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that I can also rewrite as 25 times 2 to the fourth power. Now look at the pattern. I have my initial amount. I've multiplied by 2 all of these times. And this 4, this exponent 4, corresponds to your fourth hour. So now um, I found an expression to calculate how many bacteria I will have at the end of the fourth hour. Okay, notice this expression has the initial amount, which is the amount of bacteria you have at time zero. And it has this base, this base we call the multiplier. That's the multiplier, okay? And the exponent. So if I want to find an expression to find the number of bacteria at the nth hour, this is what it looks like. It's going to be 25 times 2 to the nth power. Once you have your multiplier, all you do is you raise it to that variable. And let's see an example. For this example, it says that E. coli bacteria doubles every 30 minutes. Predict the population of 75 E. coli bacteria after 4 hours. So the first thing that I'm going to do is write my expression. The final amount of bacteria will have an initial amount, which I'm going to call P, a multiplier, which I'm going to call A, and an exponent, which I'll call T. That stands for the amount of time that has passed. So for this example, P, which is the initial amount, is 75. And then I'll multiply that by my multiplier A. And the multiplier here is this word, doubles. If it says doubles, that means you multiply by 2. If it says triples, then you will multiply by 3. That's your multiplier. And then my exponent here, since I want to know how many bacteria I'll have at the end of 4 hours, and this bacteria doubles every 30 minutes, then how many, time, how many intervals of 30 minutes do I have in 4 hours? For each hour, I will have 2 30-minute intervals. So for four hours, I will have a total of eight 30-minute intervals, okay? So my exponent here has to be eight, okay? And then with your calculator, do not multiply 75 times two and then raise to the eighth power. Always do your exponents first. So you have to multiply 75 times 2 to the 8th power, which is 2 to the 8th power, 256. And then you can multiply that by 75. And you will have a total of 1,920 bacteria by the end of the fourth hour. Okay? And there's your example. I'll see you in the next video.